Hi, thanks for joining me today. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the features and functions of the new Piano Disc IQ Player app. The IQ Player app makes it very easy to control all of the music functions of your Piano Disc IQ Player piano system. Not only that, it makes it very easy to purchase and download new music from our Piano Disc Music Store. So let's get started. On your iPad screen, locate the App Store icon and tap it. Here it is at the bottom of my screen. Tap this. And in the upper right hand corner, type in Piano Disc in the search box. That's D-I-S-C at the end. From the suggestion menu, select Piano Disc IQ Player. Here it is on the right. Now if you do not have an Apple iTunes account set up, you'll have to set one up so that you can download and install the app. However, if you have an account already set up, you might have to uh, enter your password. But once that's done, hit the download cloud and the download process begins. This will take a few moments, but once it's done, an open box will appear there you go. Tap where it says open and the Piano Disc IQ Player app appears. The first thing that you're going to see is a welcome screen. That welcome screen is followed by seven or eight help pages. If you want to scroll through those pages, simply slide your finger from right to left on the screen like this. However, if you're like most people, you want to get right into it and start using the app. So there is a skip box in the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and tap that. And there we go. Now one of the features of the IQ Player Piano app is the fact that the free music library is part of the app. And by the way, the app is free. Now, the first of five free music bundles loads automatically. If you wish to watch the progress or see the progress that's taking place with that download, Touch the playlist icon at the bottom of the screen. When the screen appears, you'll see three default playlists. The top one is My Downloads. Touch My Downloads. And you'll see that the first bundle is starting to download. Now, depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi service, this can be a short process or it can be a little bit longer but the music is downloading and there's a blue line you may not be able to see it on the screen here but there's a blue line coming across here showing that the download is taking place now these first bundles come to you in the form of a zip file so once the download has taken place there'll be a few moments while the system decompresses the files. Now we're coming up to the end here and you'll see a line that says decompressing. There we go, right there. When this line disappears, the first bundle will be already in the app. Now to see where that music is, go to the bottom of the screen and touch where it says my music. And here you go. Here's the music that has already downloaded into the app. But there are four other free music bundles that are contained in the app. So let me show you how we can get to those and download those. In the lower right hand corner you're going to see an icon that says setting. Go ahead and touch setting. And about two-thirds of the way down the screen you're going to see something that says download complimentary music library. Go ahead and touch that. And a message comes up that says these bundles are now downloading. Once again, if you wish to watch the progress of the downloads, touch the playlist icon on the lower right hand corner, and here we go. Here are the four remaining bundles, and the first one is downloading right now. While that's downloading, let's go back to the My Music playlist. So come down here and touch My Music. Now, in order to start using your system, you're going to have to do two important things. 
Number one is you must hook up to or connect to the piano's dedicated Wi-Fi network. In most cases, but not all, in most cases, when your piano disc system was installed, it was set up with an independent Wi-Fi network. Now, in most cases, that network is identified as IQ. However, the dealership may have set it up as the piano disc network or player piano network or piano at all. And therefore, you must find the network that is connected to the piano. And let me show you how we do this. At the bottom of your screen, touch the indented home button and locate the settings icon. That's on my iPad screen, this gray icon here on the bottom left-hand corner. Touch that. And in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see a line that says Wi-Fi. Touch Wi-Fi. And over here, you're going to get a list of available networks that are in range of your iPad. Now down here, there's one that's called IQ. So if we touch IQ, it's going to come to the top and a blue check mark is going to be uh, show up next to IQ. That means you have successfully connected to the piano's dedicated IQ wireless network. Now go ahead and touch the home button again at the bottom and reopen the IQ app. There we go. Now, if you want to play music, it's very simple to do, but remember I said there's two things that you need to do. The second and equally important thing is you must connect to the Apple AirPlay function. If you don't do that, your player piano will not be performing and the keys will not go up and down. So here's how we connect to the AirPlay function. Put your finger at the bottom of the screen and slide your finger up. That accesses what we call the control panel. Now, on the screen, swipe from right to left to show the AirPlay function. Now there's a list of devices that show up over here on the right and you'll notice at the bottom it says IQ. Touch where it says IQ and once you get a check mark that means you have successfully connected to the AirPlay feature of the iPad. Now if I want to uh, close this window just touch anywhere on the screen and it goes away. Now I want you to notice in the upper right hand corner there are three little icons. Before we connected to the IQ network and the AirPlay function, the two icons to the left, the one that looks like a speaker and the one that looks like a little keyboard here, were colorless. They're now green. That means you have connected successfully to the piano. So now we can begin playing songs. So locate any song that you want and just touch the song title line. For instance, The Summer Knows. Now you've seen the what we call the Now Playing window. Down here at the bottom, there's a status bar showing that the music is playing. Now we're not hearing it because I do not have a Piano Disc IQ player system in my office here. But this is moving across, so the music actually is streaming to a piano if there was one um, here in my location. If I want to change the volume of the piano, look at the bottom of the screen, and the second icon from the left looks like a little speaker. Touch that, and you'll see a volume bar that goes up and down. If you raise the ball up, the piano is going to play louder. If you put the ball down, it's going to play softer. You can adjust this to your listening pleasure. To make that feature and function disappear, just touch the screen anywhere. Now, 
Over here on the right, the second eye icon from the right, is a triple bar that goes up and down. This is the balance feature. Now, if the song that is playing has background accompaniment, like vocals, drums, bass guitar, strings, other musical instruments, those are going to come through a speaker that is mounted underneath the piano. If I want to hear more of that background accompaniment, the vocals, the drums, move the ball to the left. And it says accompaniment over here. If you don't want as much accompaniment being heard, slide the ball to the right, and the piano will become more prominent, and the background accompaniment will become less prominent. The middle is usually a good setting, but once again, this is personal taste. Set that wherever you'd like. Once again, to have that screen disappear, just touch anywhere and it goes away. Now here at the bottom, right in the center, you see the double bars. That is your stop and pause control. If I touch this, the music will stop. You'll notice the status bar is not moving anymore. And the music has been paused. Now if I want to go back to the song list, look in the upper left hand corner, you're going to see a black dot. Go ahead and touch that black dot. You come back to the music song list. So these are some of the basic features and functions of the Piano Disc IQ app. There is another video that I have on my YouTube channel, which is capital D like in David, capital R like in Robert, capital H like in Hotel, followed by the numerals 2991. That's D-R-H-2991. One of the other videos that is there is one that shows how you can purchase and download new music and put it into the IQ app. I hope this has been informative and helpful, and we thank you for your purchase of a Piano Disc IQ player system, and I hope you have an awful lot of fun. Thank you very much for your time.